we are looking at the evolution dies malcolm he is now four star skills three star weak foot five foot eight high medium play right middle right wing and now he's got this massive boost we'll have a look at his evolution card in a little bit but you can see here he's got 94 acceleration 89 sprint speed 90 agility 94 balance as well as 81 composure good shot power 80 finishing as well really good passing and then in terms of play styles we've got incisive pass rapid flare and we've got quick step so we've gone for a finisher and we jump over to foot wiz the main reason we've done that is because as you can see here boosts up his finishing up to 92 90 shot power as well as having 98 agility and balance it makes him into an 89 rated winger an 88 rated cam and an 89 rated center forward and the main reason is, is to maximize that finishing now he is going to be playing on the right hand side for us in a 4 4 2 that being said, let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how we get on today with Malcolm in review. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins. Very, very cheap, fast, and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So with Malcolm today, like I said, we're playing it in our 4-4-2. He is going to be coming in from the right-hand side to finesse. I will probably switch him over in the second half as well to see what he's like on the left-hand side. Now, of course, I've already used the card quite a lot from doing the evolution on him. And he is absolutely rapid on that left stick dribbling. That's one thing I will say. But his main job is his ability to buy down the byline. What he's like in one-on-one -on -one situations. His ability to do skill, of course, that's the main thing. But, of course, his ability to link up and finish would be also an added bonus. But his main job is to stick on this right-hand side, as you see here. And sort of just dummy run the formation out to drag our opponent out. And when he does get into situations, just drive through. See here, look how quick he is on the dribble. Bit of skill to get out. Little pass across. Into the first assist. And this is what's so good about him is that we're getting a rage quit already in Rivals. I'll take that. But this is what I like about this card. Doing that quick exit skill. He is so, so quick on it. He opens up the space so fast as well. And he just offers you so much going forward. Let's go jump into a second game. So our second game then. And the thing I like about Malcolm is his left at dribbling. It was unbelievable. Plus, especially with that RB or R1 dribble that he does as well. Opens up a lot of space. Not only that, he's very, very clinical. Hopefully, I can show you in this review now his ability to score and his link-up play is fantastic. Now, the only thing I don't like is the three-star weak foot. Right down to personal preference. I do like a lot having players who have got the four-star. We've got Malcolm out wide here. Bit of skill. A little pass in. Wait for the overlap. Good run from him. Lovely pass. Onto the left foot. And that's exactly what I'm saying about his ability to finish. How good he is. Link up. Bad defender from our opponent. We absolutely punish it with the power on the shot. Well, that through ball. Ah, oh, it's a heavy touch from me. That's a shame. Good run from him again. You can see how quick he is breaking down the lines. Let's go. Counter attack. Malcolm on the run. Lovely touch in. Again, the defender keeps dragging him out. We're going to capitalize on every time. Ball over the top. Lovely touch. Oh, it's a terrible touch. Never mind. I thought he was going to take it in stride. And he hasn't. He's decided to do a bad animation. We put capital lies on the opponent's mistake. That's a heavy touch from Malcolm there. Malcolm, lovely layoff again, using that pace of his. Wait for the run. Got a bit of work to do again. He's got Jal Pedro running through. Oh, it's too easy. And we're lovely. Oh, it's hit the post. I was going to say a lovely assist. But again, counter attacks are dreams from him. Malcolm driving. Again, a little one two. Ball over the top. Can he bring it down? Oh, what a save. We'll have a look at his set pieces from the corner to see if he's any good at them. We can see here he's got really good power. Not terrible. Definitely not the best. We will take it with him. What we're going to do is call somebody over. Get him on the edge of the box if we can. Find him here. Intact Travella. Oh, very unlucky. Leave it. We'll take another corner. Let's go. Counter attack. Position now. We've lost the left back. Using that pace. Oh, we've been absolutely shoulder bags. Obviously, his strength isn't the best. And you can see clearly there that's why. Does win the header, though. Gets it back in a situation. Defender has panicked. Using his pace. Tried to get a penalty. I don't know how we've not had a foul there. He just ran into me. And that is half time. Been a very, very tough game. It's 2 2. Should have had a penalty there. Not really given. But Malcolm has been causing a lot of problems, especially on the counter attack. And he's been opening up a lot of space. Now, I am going to go move him over to the left hand side. Just forgot to do it to show you what he looks like in terms of crossing and shooting across goal. So we have got Malcolm on that left-hand side now. And his main job is going to be more of an in-swing and sort of shooting across goal situation. We are a little bit predictable when we are on the other side. And basically, 
with that scenario in mind, we can now go in either cut in or we can go down the byline and finesse or anything like that. Now we've got so many more choices. But what I like about him is his strength, his ability to left stick all the way through the situation. You can see here, so, so responsive. Lovely turn. Good pass in. Nearly return the favor. But this is something that's really, really good about this card is his ability to do that. Malcolm here driving. Just going to wait for the dummy. Give me the space. Easy cut back. Can we get shot off? We can. There's an absolutely outrageous save from the goalkeeper. Got the counter attack. Malcolm at the top. Lovely little one, two. Can't return the favor. He's clean through as well. Get Malcolm running. We do find him this time. Lovely little inset pass. We can use him as a dummy run. Open up that space for us. Back to Odengard. Malcolm on the ball. Go for that long range shot, and it's gone in. Terrible goalkeeping. We will take it. That's going to be four goals for Malcolm there. Here's what I'm saying about his shot across goal. Because he's got that high power and good finishing, he will drill them across. I mean, that's terrible goalkeeping, but we will take what we can get. A good goal from him there. Right, we are back in the game now. Unfortunately, our opponent did get some lucky goal there. It's 4-3. Can we hold on? Maybe get one more goal to solidify this game. That's not good from Gabriel there. Good interception from Kevin De Bruyne. Again, one more pass into Kev. Go back. Back into Malcolm. Malcolm's going to drive using that pace. Too easy. Too easy. When we get ourselves an assist as well. I think that's game over. Got some situation here. Straight away into Malcolm. Little one-two. Last man. Got a bit of work to do. Do a phantom glide. Get past that tackle. Could he get a cross? It's an absolutely lovely cross. Can't get on the end of it, unfortunately. Lovely play. Now we've got the space. Malcolm out wide. He's dragged his defender out. Left it dribble of dreams. Try to get the shot off. We get a bit lucky and we take the jammy goal. I can't believe it's happening in rivals. I can't. They again, his left stick dribbling so fast you can just weave in and out of everybody and get that shot across goal if you need to. Or an assist. Thank you very much. 6-4 in this game. What have I seen? Full time. We've won the game here. I can't believe how good Malcolm is. I'm imagining I'm going to see him quite a lot in a lot of people's teams, especially if you've got the Neymar link as well as Bonu and much other players. Now, if we have a look at his performances, you can see he got 10. He got five goals, one assist in that game for us. 21 dribbles, 33 complete. Six shots on target out of seven, five goals. His passing was absolutely fantastic. 20 passes completed out of 22, and two of them were crosses. Defending, nothing to show you there. Now, if we jump back over to Footwiz, so his gold card is around 5 6k at the moment. I think you could probably pack him over time and his price will drop down. Now you have to pay 50,000 coins or 1,000 FIFA points to be able to do this to get him to where he is. But overall, he is unbelievably quick. If we go over to his gold card quickly just to show you what it looks like. See, oh, he's even down to 1,000 now. He's way more cheaper now unless this is broken. But you can see even with the statistics he have, he's in a really, really good place with the high attack and work rates and media. But as soon as you put him up to an 85, he becomes into this monster. And the links he has with the Neymar, especially, and Bono in goal, you get full chem no matter what. And with this Hunter, or sorry, even finisher, I mean, he gives him to 92 finisher and 90 shot power. But the agility and balance and 99 dribble is an absolute joke, making him into an 89 rated winger. You can also go for a Hawk if you want to, to maximize that pace. Or, of course, a Hunter, like I mentioned a minute ago. But I do think that finisher is the best. Now, his right foot is a little bit annoying, I will not lie to you. And the 68 strength is also frustrating. But someone that's 5 foot 8 and 172 centimeters with an average and stocky type, he does hold himself out of your hold down left trigger in L2. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.